So Andesit and Doinx sent me these two gaming chairs. Can you tell the difference between a $550 gaming chair and a $250 gaming chair? That's the question we're answering today. So Emma doesn't know what these chairs feel like. She has not... He has forbade me <laughs> from sitting in it for like a month. <laughs> okay, here are the rules. You cannot touch the chairs with your hands because you'll know which one it is because the handles are pretty obvious. Okay. So what I'm going to do is move you this way a bit. Yeah. If you pull the chair out from underneath me, I'm going to kill you. No, don't worry. I'm not going to pull the chair from under you. <laughs> okay, hold on. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead and sit down. Don't pull it out from underneath no, me. No, I promise I'm not. that's not going to be fun. I just want to... Don't put your elbows down because you'll feel the arms. Okay, go ahead and sit down. I don't know how to sit. Just sit. It's right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Me. I knew you were going to use that on me. I was like, Don't touch why anything. are you buying the mommy cushions? Okay, so let me... For a video for sound effects. <laughs> let me take this out. Okay, go ahead and sit down for real. Okay, don't touch anything with your elbows. How do you feel in this chair? The head thing is a bit tall, so it's kind of uncomfortable. Okay, what if I moved it down? Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's a bit upright for me. Oh, it's just like very 90 degrees. Oh, because I look after my back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now stand up. Don't touch any arms. Stand up. I'm just, hold on. Oh. I'm just getting a feel for it. I'm doing the swivel test. <laughs> Swivel's nice. It's smooth. Okay. Okay. Okay, stand up. Shift to your right. Okay, go ahead and sit down. Is it right yeah, underneath me? it's right there. Are you sure? Yes, babe, it's right there. <laughs> Oh, wait, this one goes further back. Oh, it has a little bit more like give to it, but it's a little bit more firm. The the seat itself? Yeah, uh, I feel like this one makes me slouch more. Yeah, it's not nearly as soft as the other one. Okay. The other one's the more expensive one. Am I supposed to guess? So yeah, you're sitting in the cheaper one or the more I'm expensive? I'm sitting in the cheaper one. Okay, well, you can take your, hit your face thing off. Ha ha, I knew it. <laughs> How easy was it? to tell the difference. Well, difference. that one's way more plush. What do you mean by plush? Like it's- Like softer. The, the cushion's softer? Yeah. Like okay. this, my butt would probably start hurting after a while. Mine doesn't hurt after a while sitting in that, but- I have a very bony butt. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and the other thing though, is with the lumbar for the back thing, it's like a yeah. separate cushion for that. With this, you just turn this and it pushes well, your back You out. didn't do that for me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're still special. <laughs> I'm just saying that there's, because yeah, that doesn't have one, the lumbar on it Yeah, right now. this is just, you can tell this is just more basic. That feels like it fit me better. Like it just uh, took into consideration like an actual person sitting in it. The seat is like longer, so my feet are hanging down. Well, I mean, you can change that. I know, but it's just a longer seat. So yeah. it's just, like it's deeper, so it kind of just makes it feel less comfortable. Like do you see, like you, I can't change that. My knees aren't even going to the edge. But the nice thing is, is you can yes, lean back. Yes, I do like. You do, do have like this, this thing. One. So that's that's where it does come in handy is you can just, with, with this chair, you can't do that. I you know. can only sit back like this if you want to. Yeah, I do like this function. But can it do this? Whoa! <laughs> you can actually lie flat on this. Are oh, you going, look at that. Are you going to the dentist? Yeah, I'm actually I would be to terrified to do that. Was yeah, that this it? one and the armrests are like really high. It just doesn't fit my, like someone else might not complain about these. Yeah, those don't do that. Yeah, it's nice that yeah, these I just do feel like adjust. This one is kind of just like a one size fits all, which is not true. One size doesn't fit all. Mm -hmm. I mean, the footrest is probably the only thing that sets that apart that is a benefit to this one. I mean, this one's fine. You can just feel the premium in this one though. Yeah. Okay. Especially with like just how how much like even just looking at the seat, this one's like softer. And Plus, that was way this is softer. magnetic. Yeah, that was way softer than this one. Yeah, it is actually a nice pillow. You can use it for more than just a chair. Yeah. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider leaving a like. That'd be appreciated. There's a lot of work that we put into these videos, and just take a look at the script. It's over eight pages long, and it's just to make sure that I get all the info correct and I don't forget anything. So you know. Support would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there as well. A real quick disclaimer, I 
was sent these chairs. I didn't pay for them. Doinks and Andersi sent them to me for free. And that means that I can review these without any bias. So I'm gonna run them through their paces. Let you know, is it actually worth it? And do you get what was advertised? And do they just feel good? And are they worth the price? This is my favorite chair. Andersi makes really good chairs. But if you really wanna know why, keep watching the video. Let's start with the Andersi gaming chair. To be more specific, this is the 2022 Kaiser 3 gaming chair. It's supposed to be a professional and premium series. Now I would hope that Andesit has put a lot of thought into this because it is a $550 gaming chair and I can definitely tell you that that is the case. I can feel the premium quality of this chair. It feels very nice to sit in and it's a larger chair than my previous chair which we'll talk more about that in a second. Here we go. I uh, I don't know how I'm gonna open this. You can clearly tell that this is a, a, a gaming chair. Andesit sent this to me for free. Oh boy. This thing's a big boy, it's heavy. I'm gonna set this aside. Jeez, there's a lot of parts here. Why is this lumbar bar cushion heavy? Is there something in it? Are they trying to smuggle something? We've got some smugglers chat. This is high quality cushion. I like this. This is heavy, but it feels good. It's like a almost memory foam, but not really. Oh, right, this is just all the screws and stuff. The wheels. This is a thick manual, bro. This is thick with two C's. Oh! It's got pictures and everything. I like the directions because I don't read. Now there are different specs for this chair because there are different sizes. Just to quickly highlight some of the options from the large size, it has a seat depth of 19.6 inches, which is 49.7 centimeters. The back seat is 33.4 inches or 84.8 centimeters. And the XL size is very similar, but the seat depth is 22.4 inches or 56.8 centimeters. The XL is also so slightly wider but the nice thing is if you click on each size on the website you can see the person size recommendations here. One thing I found unique about the Andesit gaming chair during assembly is that a lot of the accessories or aesthetic pieces of the chair are magnetic which makes assembly very easy and pretty fun. The armrests are also magnetic so in theory if you have different colors you can swap those out which is a nice option. In addition, the head pillow is magnetic, which I found pretty cool when I first discovered it. And so far, I think it's one of the unique features of the Andesit gaming chair and probably my favorite one too. From start to finish, this chair took about 15 minutes to put together. They also provide all the tools and screws necessary to put this thing together. So Andesit's got your back quite literally, actually. Do you know who else has got your back? Visuals by Impulse has your back, whether you want overlays, alerts, or templates for your live streams and videos. I use a lot of their free assets, but also premium stuff too, like the one over here. And it'll let you know that you get 5% off your order if you use my link down in the description. Try some of their free stuff out, it's really worth your time. And when you're ready, use the link down below in the description and you can get 5% off your order when you get premium assets from their website. And they start as low as five bucks, which is really amazing, especially for the quality that you get. You can get really awesome stream overlays like transitions from their transition maker. You don't need any editing software to make these custom branded transitions. Just tell them what branding you want, submit it all, and that's really it. It's the same thing when you want to create lower thirds for your social. VBI has a lot of really great resources, so give it a try. They're not paying me to say this. Seriously, I, I like them that much. Let's get back to the Andesit gaming chair. I've spoken a lot about its specs, but how does it actually perform? And I can really tell you that the premium quality of this build is a really nice premium. That was too repetitive. <laughs> The back can go pretty far, up to 165 degrees into the rest mode, and I almost killed myself doing that. Whoa! <laughs> this brings me to the lumbar support of this chair. Now, for younger people, you might not find this that interesting, but it's actually very important. Doesn't matter what your age is. For older people, you might have experienced that your back gets sore when sitting in a chair this long for 10 to 15 hours a day. At least that's how I do it. You might spend five to eight hours a day in the chair and it's still important to have a good lumbar support. So having these mechanisms that adjust up and down and how wide it opens to increase your lumbar support is very important. And for long periods of time, even for younger people, start out young because when your back's messed up, it's very hard to fix. I had some back issues in the past and getting a better chair definitely made a huge difference. Now, if you've enjoyed the video so far, please leave a like, that'd be appreciated. It takes a lot of time and effort for me and my team to make these videos and maybe subscribe while you're down there. Now, I've told you a lot about the Andesit and all of its features, but let me hand you over to 
me to tell you about the Doings Chair. Well, thanks, me. Uh, if I'm gonna tell you about the Doings Gaming Chair, I'm gonna have to do it without this guy here because it's creating a lot of editing work for Adam. So let's continue and show you what the Doings Chair is like. This guy looks so weird without visual effects, but do your magic, Adam. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. So Doix took a little bit of a different approach. Since they have a cheaper budget per chair, because they've got to make the chairs cheaper, they don't have as many features as maybe what Anderseat would have. But it's not a deal breaker. This chair can lean a little bit further than what Anderseat's chair can do, which is 170 degrees, which is really nice. Now Doix has also added a foot rest or a leg rest into it so that you can rest your legs while you're lying back or even just sitting upright on the chair. It's a nice little addition, I would say. Now the Doix chair does have a lot of the basic functionalities that you would expect in a cheap gaming chair or cheaper gaming chair. I know that for some people 250 bucks might still be quite a bit and if that's all you can afford I think this is a great option for you. It has those basic up and down functionalities as well as the tilt features and you can adjust how strong that tilt feature is as well with a little screw underneath the chair. You can also take that lumbar pillow on and off on the chair, but that's all that can do. There's nothing else fancy to that. And the pillow for your head, it can adjust a little bit, but it's not completely movement proof, if that's a word. It just moves and it doesn't stay in the same spot the whole time, so you will have to constantly adjust it. So this chair isn't very fancy, but it does have the high density foam for good padding. So my back doesn't hurt after sitting in it for 10 to 14 hours a day. I do a lot of sitting at my desk. That's just how it goes. And I haven't really had any issues sitting in it for long periods of time. Been a long day. I started recording at 10 in the morning. It's 3.30 now. So which one would you pick? Personally, I love the Andesite gaming chair. It does have a premium quality. It's definitely a heavy chair as opposed to the Doinx gaming chair, which is a lot lighter. I do like to have a premium build, but considering a $550 price range, if that's within your budget, then I would definitely recommend the Andesite. Now, if you prefer a smaller budget of 250 bucks, the Doinx chair is definitely gonna do what you need to do. Just keep in mind, you're not gonna have as many features and it's not gonna be as comfortable. This lumbar control here is really nice with the controls on the side here very clicky too which is nice uh, as well as you know my favorite part the magnetic headrest so uh, or the pillow I should say depending on what price range you have your choice might vary I'm gonna stick with this even though I didn't even pay for it so I would pick this but if I had to pay for it $550 a little out of my price range but here's what I'm gonna do I would rather spend the full price of $550 for a chair like this because if I'm gonna buy a cheaper chair and let's say it lasts one or two years I'm gonna continue to have to make that purchase every year or two so by the five years that this thing lasts or maybe 10 10 years I'm gonna spend the same price by getting two of these or three of these so in the long run this is definitely worth it the Andesite definitely throws the Doinx chair out of the waters but if you're just considering a short amount of time and a smaller budget Doinx will definitely do exactly what you want now if you're currently searching for chairs and you do want to get one of these I'll link them down below they are affiliated I do make a small kickback and it really helps support the channel especially for this long video that took so much work to make it, it actually took a lot of work. So thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. One other thing worth mentioning is that the Andesite can go a little higher than the Doinx chair. So, you know, that's definitely a more versatile situation, especially for me. My desk doesn't move up and down. So having a chair that goes higher definitely helps me. Now, Emma did find this chair to be her favorite. So that's also something that I considered, but she still has to sit in this in the streams. So <laughs> I get the nice one. Thanks so much for watching. I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you next time.